in order to talk about our project here for Building 35, we need to step back a little bit. We built an arts community. We built a gallery. We built a beautiful 6,000 square foot, sunlit, gorgeous gallery in a loft. And that was the base of Garner Art Center's operations. There was just so much activity. Um, and then we lost that gallery. We lost it in a hurricane. And now it's time for us to, uh, to start again. This industrial complex is like nothing else. Um, it is the most vibrant, um, I'd say incubator of creativity, both from an economic development standpoint and also for the arts, both performing and visual. I love these spaces. I love these buildings. I love the textures and the feel of these buildings inside and out. It gives me a feeling that I don't get anywhere else. I have been here with the Garner Art Center for 10 years now. I uh, love this place. and. I curate shows, I participate in the community, and I look forward to doing more of it. We're anxious to renew our programming, and we need a base of operations to do that. Um, so that's what Building 35 is about to me. Well, I think it's important for communities to be able to have at their center arts, music, uh, and a place for the community to come together and celebrate that. And we also have here a very unique physical space that lends itself perfectly to creating an environment where that can flourish. This is a gutted facility with 26 foot high ceilings. It's completely vacant. It's got to be renovated and we need tons of money to do it and a lot of heart and spirit and love to make it happen. But uh, our goal is to develop this into that space that I mentioned before, a world class facility. I feel that this place can really bring out the best in our kids and inspire them to really look at life through art. Um, I have a strong belief that art really wakes up your wonder, your mind, but also that it brings you present to life. The whole complex, both its natural setting down by the creek and the beautiful 19th century buildings that exist here in the interior space lends itself to in a, creating an environment where people can make art, where people can appreciate art, and where the community can come in and be a part of it. Sitting here in Building 35, this gorgeous old rundown factory building that just, it's what artists like me dream of for exhibitions and community, and I can just picture things that will happen here for decades. I'm, I'm honored to be part of this. I mean, we're, we're redoing history. We're remaking a new history and, uh, and infusing new life into the facility as a whole. It's about reestablishing uh, our programs, having the community come back um, to see our state-of-the-art exhibitions um, and our music series. So I'm really excited about it. I'm Alice DeSanto, and I am Building 35. I'm Frank Vitale, and I'm Building 35. I'm Wayne Cobham, and I am Building 35. I'm James Tyler, and I am Building 35. I'm Mort Korn, and I'm Building 35. Yo soy Francisco Garcia Quesada, y soy el edificio 35. With your support, together, we are Building 35.